hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in this particular video I noticed that I forgot to record an intro for you guys and for that I apologize I was editing and I was looking for another video and I was just like they don't even know what I'm gonna make but anyway in this video I'm just showing you guys how I quickly marinate my meat and what I do and what I put in what I you know all the steps that I take to marinate my meat when my husband wants Mexican barbecue so stay tuned and if you guys have any more suggestions please let me know and I hope you enjoy this video bye all right guys so I'm gonna show you another thing that we are doing my husband wanted sorry that's my pig in the background my husband wanted to do a Mexican barbecue so here we have steaks and here we have beef, beef chuck ribs short ribs we love those all right guys so and we also have this marinade i think this one's new i haven't I, we haven't bought this so we'll see make sure when you use it to really shake it all right so with clean hands we're gonna take these out and then to here I'm gonna put all my meat in here and then what I like to do is uh, rinse them off some people have told me like don't rinse it off because you're gonna cook it anyway um, so all that stuff's gonna burn off so now that we have our clean meat, I'm going to put in here some garlic powder. I know like this has um, the seasonings and stuff like black pepper and um, orange flavor garlic and water and salt and all that stuff. But still I just like to put just a little bit more just um, so I know that there is like flavoring and since we haven't tried this new seasoning I really don't know if it's going to be good the salt I don't put because usually with these marinades the salt is enough that it has in here all right so I just move that around it around all right and now put the marinade in there and move that around it smells pretty good so I don't think this is going to disappoint all right so I just let it like this And when my husband gets back home, we're going to turn the grill on and stuff. So I'm going to let it mar marinate. And then um, after a little bit, I like to move the meat around so I know everything is nice and coated. Also, I like to cut onions and jalapenos and just put it in the marinade. Um, so it have that flavor too. So I'm going to get my cutting board and my knife and I'll be right back. onion 
I like to separate every single thing, like layer, so it won't be like clumps. Also guys, if you're, if you get steak and it's just not tender enough, with this marinade, um, you can put all this stuff and then you can also put a little bit of mustard. And mustard is a great tenderizer. And don't worry, the taste won't, um, won't stay, it'll cook off. I think it'll only stay if you put a whole lot, but you don't need a lot. Just need a little bit. Guys, and all this is keto. If you're wondering, too. Do I just get a spoon? And just mix all that in. And like that, this is gonna stay in the fridge just like that. Every couple of minutes, um, every like 15 minutes, I'm gonna come and like move it around. But um, that is it for this part. So we also have chorizo. This is my favorite, it's so good and spicy. And we have chicken that we will also marinate. Um, and I'm going to marinate it with this as well and put some of this Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. This we found it at um, either Food Lion or Lidl, but I think it's more of Food Lion. I don't know, but this is great seasoning. I really have to get like more um more big bowls because this is all i found all right so guys the same thing i like to wash my chicken every meat that i prepare i like to wash Don't wash your chicken as well because cross-contamination and all that mess. I don't care. Like some of these have like this, like I don't know what it is. You can see it on my fingers, the shiny thing. And it's just, you don't know how long it's been sitting there. And you just want to make sure your chicken's nice and clean. Just avoid whatever. But I'm going to wash it. I'll be right back. Chicken is nice and washed. I found just another bowl so I can you know separate them and like everything will be like fits and it's not too much all right and guys for my keto guys always get chicken that has the skin like this is a great source of fat like this is perfect all right, guys. So let me wash, rewash my hands again, so I can touch the seasonings. As I am back, first of all, let me tell y'all, this is so annoying. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel wet. Hopefully, it's not oil, but I don't know. This is water right now. But anyway, so I'm gonna put some of this. And it looks so pretty. This seasoning looks so pretty. Also guys, there's the upcoming seafood boil mukbang that I am planning to do. Alright, that's done. Nice and coated, let me show you. Okay, and now we're going to put this.
And guys, the same thing for this. We are going to leave it like that, make sure everything's coated and move it every 15 minutes. So when I move the other steak around, then I'm gonna move these bad boys too. Just gotta make sure all of it's coated. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on this side because I put more on here than I did the other one. So here we are. Oops. So I'm gonna put these back in the fridge, like cover them up, put in the fridge, and move it every 15 minutes, and we'll be right back. So also, guys, we're going to barbecue these. Um, put them on the grill. These are chipotle lime sausage. I don't know how good it'll taste. But we'll find all right guys so this are the two sausages that i'm making this is the hot one and this is the chipotle lime that i showed you guys these are both keto everything that i've showed you so far for this prep has been keto so now i'm going to put this in the fridge okay so at every 15 minutes well let me show you one every 15 minutes i was moving the meat around that's how it's gonna look. barbecued our meats and this would be my plate that I would eat without the rice without the beans and without the tortilla I would have to put a salad on the side and sometimes I just straight eat this and I'm full like I don't need a lot but in the process I lost one of my nails so whatever I'm gonna get them done tomorrow or Wednesday so but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed these videos that I made for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.